everybody, welcome back to OCD Hi-Fi Guy, and here I am. Um, and I'm going to show for you, you guys, real quick, the comparison between two of the main uh, planar magnetic or planar types of, of speaker. Um, on the left, we've got the electrostatic, which is what you hear a lot about. The quads are electrostats, and then on the right, magnapan, which is a planar magnetic. Um, essentially, kind of similar idea that they're both slabs of speaker um, and, and dipole with uh, you know out the front, out the back kind of thing. Um, and, um, but the electrostat has a power supply and it charges its screens on the front and the back and it modulates between positive and negative because the mylar and the, or the, the film in the middle is metallized. And that's how they modulate their thing back and forth. Now are their, their, their uh, driver, um, on the, on the, um, mm, magna pan, um, there is uh, magnets that are in here and that then they run the current through the membrane actually, instead of through the panels on the outside. And, uh, um, the current goes through there and then it, it modulates from the magnets that are you know, on the steel. There's some a steel plate in there and some magnets. This is a ribbon tweeter right there actual ribbon so what we've got for source we've got two the jeff roland amps we're just using one channel of each 350 watts class ab and then we've got right in here we've got the vermeer 2 um, which is acting as the streamer and um the whole nine we've got uh the dac and the volume control is uh, analog preamp there and everything so we're going to try first we're going to do a round with the electrostats then we're going to do a round with the maggie so let's uh let's start with uh this right here oh, see how she goes Some of this stuff, man, I'm, I'm going to just, I might get, I might just go, uh, move it forward a bit because it's got two, the intros are too long. It buzzed me. It's buzzed me. I want to have music. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? I'm going to just go to something. I oh, thought cool, but I'd play a little bit of this. This is kind of like a Let's see, let me go back. Okay. I'll be back with the tunes. Hold on. All right, so we will start with the um electrostatics. King Sound King is is what they're called. It's an electrostat. John Mayall, by the way, John Mayall. to the playlist okay let's see man this is not intuitive if you're trying to get a uh let's see where are we if you, if you want to do bubble umpc this thing is you can see right down there it's a one piece unit right it's the it's the uh the vermeer 2 and i've got the ethernet going right in it's got a streamer inside sounds really good that way um except for you have to use bubble U upnp whatever the hell and the thing is, is is just not intuitive very much. Okay, so here we go. Let's do some more. And, yeah, there we go. It's got a little lag on it, a little lag. <laughs> Again, this is we're listening to electrostatics. Try a little more volume.
now that I think about it, I should probably put a little voice in here, or they're going to snag the doors. Hopefully I don't have to do that crazy stuff I did last time. This ought to do it. Let's see. We got a bad speaker. You guys hear that? Listen. No, oh, I didn't squeeze it. Oh, it's it's a loose panel. I can feel it. This edge is loose. Okay, we're gonna get the Maggie's in. Hold on. Okay, and so here we go with the Magna Pan. Okay, so they suck more current. Totally different. Hear the difference in the curve? Yeah. Again, that's now we're listening to Magna Pan.
Okay, I'm going to do a little uh, cover up here, uh, cover up the uh, material that might get snagged here. I'm just trying to do a little preemptive uh, strike on this thing here because I uh, don't want to get taken away. I really don't want to repost this, so let's see. Okay, so there you have it, the comparison between the two. It was kind of interesting, huh? You guys want to meet Crazy Mike? Here's Crazy Mike. Hey, <laughs> we call him Crazy Mike because this guy will do absolutely anything to get hi-fi wherever he's going. The okay. guy knows how to score deals like you wouldn't believe. He's almost as good as Jono. These guys are both crazy. I just go pay the price, you know, but these guys go find the stuff on Craigslist like broken and stuff and fix it and they're pretty handy like that so anyways let's talk about the uh let's talk about the um whoa. Let's see how i do this see i'm still still this thing's still in my hand um about the sound of this i think that the, uh they're, they're totally different and unique huh yeah yeah they definitely have a different sound to them yeah i think like uh that that mid-range on the uh on the um electrostats was just so clear all through that mid band is so clear whereas it seems like the maggie is more like a smile right it's more got more. It seems like more oomph on the bottom, more top end tiz or you know snap on the top, but the mid is just down a little bit, right? Yeah. Does it sound like the that? Yeah. Brings is a little forward on. Um. Yeah. Well, yeah. Or the mids down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same. Same kind of thing. And then and then yeah, because it's like the opposite. It's like the the electrostat is like a you know frown or whatever. <laughs> it's like up in the mid and then kind of down on each end, whereas the Maggie is the other way. It's like up on each mm -hmm. side and then down in the middle, which is a trip. So um, I like the mid of the of the electrostat for sure, you know. Um, I like the punch of the Maggie, um, but again, this is not a normal Maggie. This is a Mikey Mag. These things are different, you know. I mean, they're they're, they're just, they got more bass and more punch. But um, anyway, so that's the conclusion. What do you do? You have anything to add to that? Yeah, I love the bass on the Maggies. That's what you did with them because I've never heard Maggies go down that low before. Yeah, it's wild, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah I Impressive. hadn't either. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, anyways, so yeah, so that's that. Um, again, it's the King Sound uh, King, and um, uh, Crazy Mike was able to find these things up the coast for for what three thousand bucks, and but they're never yeah, really that cheap, huh? Yeah, basically about three grand. About, but I had to drive all the way to Maine. And back he drove to Maine. See, that's what I'm talking about. Do anything. The guy will drive to Maine to get these a good deal. Um, so that's awesome. But so, so normally what would they be like five grand? Yeah. Yeah. They usually run about so they're about five grand used, you know, for those, uh, electrostats. And then the Maggie's are probably maybe four used or three and a half or something. Um, cause they're just less expensive, but they wouldn't sound like this though. Um, you know, they would be stock form and stock form does not, not you know, it's not sound like these, but it's, it's better matched. I think because these, after all the mods and everything, Maybe like, okay, so these are seven grand retail, and then we add maybe three grand in, four grand in for mods. That brings us up about to the same price as the king, the kings, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, yeah. it's pretty close. I think they're running currently about 12 new. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, so yeah, so that's about right. Okay, so anyways, that was a comparison for you between um, planar magnetic and, uh, and, uh, and electrostatic. So don't get to see that very often, but we brought it to you here on OCD Hi-Fi Guy. Thanks for tuning in. See you.